Welcome back to PSC Bytes. Today I am going to explain you how you can use the Microsoft Graph API to work with OneNote notebooks. In fact, there are APIs in Microsoft Graph to manage notebooks, sections and section groups, as well as pages and resources like images or attachments inside of pages. Using the Microsoft Graph API, you can easily create a new notebook, add a section to the notebook and add a page with content to that section. And in order to do that, from a security point of view, you can either use a delegated access token for a work or school account if the OneNote notebook is, for example, in OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Online. You can use a delegated personal access token so that you can manage OneNote notebook stores in OneDrive Personal. Or you can use an application-only token if you want to do that with a daemon running in the background, like in an Azure function or stuff like that. So, let me move to the demo environment, let me show you how to do that in practice. So, here you can see the entry point of the OneNote REST API's documentation. And as you can see, we can easily get access to the user notebooks, the group notebooks in an Office 365 group, or the SharePoint site notebooks. We simply need to provide the proper URL to target the notebook that we want to use, and then the sections, and the section groups, and the pages. So let's assume that I have my OneDrive for Business and I want to create a new notebook in this section of my notebook. So we can go to Graph Explorer and like always, we can play with it to do what we need to achieve as the result. So we can target one note and we can get the list of notebooks, for example, with a simple GET request. As you can see here, we will get back the list of notebooks available for my current user. And I can easily create a new one, simply making a post and providing as the content of my post the display name of the notebook that I want to create. So let me run this query and I will get back the ID of the notebook that I just created. And of course, I can also uh, double check getting again the list of notebooks uh, that my notebook got created. And I can eventually make a request for that specific one by ID just to retrieve the one that I just created. If I go back here and I refresh the page, I will be able to see that in my notebooks, I will have my PSC step by notebook available. So, uh, so far, so good. Now, let's assume that we want to create a new section or to get a list of sections in my notebook. So, we can uh, query the list of sections and clearly this is a new notebook, so we will not have any section. But we can easily add a new one, which we can call demo section, for example. And we simply need to make a post request targeting the collection of sections in the target OneNote notebook to create a new section. So let me do that. And again, if we now make a GET request for the list of sections, we will be able to see that now we have our new section. If we want to access that specific section, of course, we can do that using the OneNote API again and targeting just the sections endpoint and providing the ID of the section that we want to retrieve. So, for example, something like that. And if I go to my OneNote UI, I can even see with you that in my OneNote now, I have my demo section, which is clearly empty because we still don't have any page in it. So, let's create a new page in this uh, section. So, what I want to do is to target the pages and point uh, in the uh, section that I'm targeting. And again, we can see that we don't have any pages right now. But like uh, before, we can make a post request uh, and we can provide the content of a new page. In order to do that, uh, we can, for example, use some HTML content. So we can go to the request headers. We can say that the content type of my request will be text HTML. And in the request body, I can, for the sake of simplicity, simply paste uh, in HTML content that I created before. So this is page created by PSC Stack Bytes, and this is the list of notes that I want to save inside my page in OneNote. So, for example, let me execute this request with a post, and as you can see, I will get back the confirmation that my page got created, and if I will go back to my OneNote, I can see that now I have a page with the title that I provided and with the list of items that I provided inside the content of my page. So, really interesting and powerful. And as you can see, we can also define the date and time of creation using this attribute in the HTML content. 
So, really powerful, and you can easily create a solution that can automate the creation and the management of uh, notebooks, uh, sections, section groups, and pages using the Microsoft Graph API. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.